Clean off the bedside surface you will be working on to prevent the spread of infection. You may want to ask your patient to lie down during the access as this makes it easier to stabilize the port. However, some patients may choose to sit up during the access. Open the central venous access dressing tray and don a mask. Perform hand hygiene including a 30 second hand wash. Open your sterile field. Open your sterile non-coring needle set, 10 ml sterile normal saline syringe, and needleless connector onto the sterile field. Don sterile gloves. Attach the needleless connector to the needle set and prime with sterile normal saline. Close the clamp and return it to your sterile field. Be sure to check your institution's policy in regards to which antiseptic agent should be used to cleanse the skin prior to accessing the port. Cleanse the skin with chloroprep cleaning solution per your institution policy. Utilize a 30 second scrub in a back and forth and up and down motion including the entire area where your dressing will adhere. Palpate the area of the implanted port with your non-dominant hand locating the center of the port's septum. Rotate the site with each access. Do not use the same hole for each access as it will lead to skin breakdown. With your dominant hand, firmly push the needle perpendicularly through the skin into the device until the needle meets the bottom of the device. It is important that there be a small space between the needle and the skin line. If flush with the skin, the needle length is too short and there is an increased risk of infiltration. If necessary, support the space between the needle and the skin with a folded 2x2 gauze to prevent rocking of the needle, which can cause damage to the septum and irritate the skin. Gently flush with 3 to 10 mLs of normal saline or aspirate for blood return to verify proper placement. Apply an occlusive dressing. If necessary, cover the wings of the extension set with a folded 2x2 gauze to prevent inadvertent removal of the needle when taking off the occlusive dressing. Of note, gauze placement is often used for short-term portacath access to stabilize the needle. If needed in place for a longer period of time for continued needle stabilization, please review your institution's infection control policy regarding how often to change the gauze as it can be a medium for bacterial growth. Apply tape around the tubing where it exits the dressing to ensure occlusiveness. Unclamp the extension tubing and gently flush with 3 to 10 mLs of normal saline and connect to your administration set. Date and initial your dressing.